Today we're talking about writing your small business marketing plan. Turns out we were all lied to in high school business class. Hey, I'm Coach Molly from Visibility Hacking Studios and we help small businesses blow up their visibility online, get new clients, get the right types of clients and do all of that without spinning their wheels. And unlike high school business class, we're not going to lead you down the wrong path. See, in my high school business class, we were told that the most important thing you need to get your business going is to have a business plan. And so that's what we focused on for the entire semester. But I'm here to tell you the truth. You don't just need a business plan to be successful. But don't worry, today we're talking about the marketing plans that are vital to your business success. We're gonna talk about the seven most important sections of any successful marketing plan. We'll talk about the systems that automate your visibility. And we'll talk about the most effective market research strategy you will ever use. For this and more, stay tuned. All right, so there's seven different sections, seven different things that you need to be focusing on that all together encompass your marketing plan. First one we're gonna talk about is pretty obvious, but for some reason, a lot of people skip it. So the first thing to think about is your product. What are you actually selling? If you wanna take this a step further, of course, you can always talk about your offer where you bundle different products together to create the best solution. But that is a discussion for another day. If you're interested, let me know down in the comments. Your product, what you sell, your solution for your customers has to be unique. You really need to think it out. If you're selling a physical product, where are you getting it from? Where is the manufacturing happening? And then how are you going to distribute that to your customers as well? What is it about your product that makes it different than what's currently available in the market? Or what hole in the market does your product help fit? Second thing you want to think about is your product's price. Compare yourself to what's currently out in the market. You can look at, of course, direct competitors, but you also want to look at other competitors who are a little bit tangential to what you do. Maybe they're looking at trying to solve the same problem as you are, but maybe they do it in a completely different way or you do what you do in a completely different way. And therefore, you can adjust your pricing based on those changes of delivery method as well. Also keep in mind the prices that your customers will save by working with you. For example, I work with a fitness coach and within their marketing messaging, they're able to talk about how they can save people tens of thousands of dollars. And the way that they do this is by showing the actual medical bills of procedures and, and corrective procedures that these people will had to go through because they didn't choose to work with um, my client. And that's a pretty interesting thing. So you, in, in your product or service, you can actually save people money and that can also be put into the discussion about price. I've already alluded to this but the third one is process. How do you actually deliver your product or service? This is a fantastic place to step above and beyond and really over deliver for your customers. Really set yourself apart from what's currently out there in the market. Because let's be honest, we've all seen the kind of mm, underwhelming fulfillment that a lot of online coaches and a lot of service providers seem to fall back on. We want to stand out in terms of how we deliver to our customers. So make sure that you have a thoughtful conversation, either yourself or with your team, about what that process is and how you can set yourself apart in the market in that respect. Basically, this first part of your marketing plan is all about what you do and how you do it. Look at how you can set yourself apart. Look at how you can be the best serving product for your ideal market. That's what marketing is, is finding the way that you can best serve your people. So go out there and check it out. And while you're at it, why not hit the like button and uh, hit the subscribe button here on the channel. We would love to see you around more often. All right, now let's talk about authority building. Mm, one of my favorite things to talk about. 
If we want to build authority, we need to show proof of our progress, of our um, tangible results for our people. So if you are a fitness coach, let's just go back to that example. Maybe you help people lose weight or you help them get in shape. Well, the before and after photos, the client testimonials, all of that is social proof. The people who show up to your live show and leave really in thoughtful comments about what it is that you do, that again is social proof. So we want to look at building systems and making sure that we are intentionally collecting this social proof. First things first is to actually go out, do the activity of gathering the social proof that already exists. If you aren't intentionally collecting it, it's quite easy to have all of this social proof out there in the world, but it's really not curated in a way that's going to help your ideal customers find you and build that authority in their minds, making you the right choice for their purchasing decision. Then what you're going to do is make your life easier by automating your social proof systems. Look at how you can build that social proof generation system into your already existing modes of communication. So how can you build it into your live show? Easy. How can you build it into your email contact with them? Easy. How can you build it in to your sales calls and to your courses and to your workbooks, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Very easy. And if you want to learn more about how to do that, well, why don't you join us over here in the Visibility Hacking community? Introduce yourself down in the comments because we'd love to get to know you. Tell us about your business, your movement, your people, and what kind of results you are hoping to get for them. Now I know market research is something that most business people want to skip over because they want to get to the doing. They want to get to the point at which they are actually helping their customers solve their problem. All that behind the scenes stuff is a little bit boring, right? And we don't see that immediate cha-ching in our bank account, so it's something we can easily skip over, at least in our brains. But from a practical perspective, we want to make sure that we are serving our people best, and we do that by getting to know them first, so doing that market research. I divide it into two different methodologies and you have to do both at the same time or it's not going to work. First is to analyze your competition. Go out there, see what's currently being offered. And I don't mean look for direct competitors when you have a solution that really doesn't have direct competitors at the moment, but understand your market. So if you look for your ideal customer, right, your avatar, and you think, how are they currently being solved? If you're business, if you didn't show up and have that bravery to help solve people's problems, where is your customer currently finding solutions? Maybe they're not the best solutions, but where are they currently going for that speed, for that ability to be served? For example, let's go back to the fitness coach idea. So you're a fitness coach and, and you're looking around at how your people are currently being served. Well, maybe they're being served by um, some YouTube videos that are for a different discipline and don't really understand their specific conditions as well, uh, but they're trying to piecemeal it together. Great, now you know that you can provide a better solution in a way that your customer is already interested in consuming their, uh, their media. So why not jump on creating video content that better serves that customer? Now we wouldn't have known to do that, of course, if we hadn't have gone out and done that research and that an analysis of our competition. Second thing that you're gonna do is literally ask your people. Like, go have a conversation with them. I know, sounds like a crazy idea, but literally ask them, what are you struggling with right now? What can I help you with right now? You will be amazed at the amount of information that you're able to gather from your customers. No matter how big your market is, no matter how big your current following is, if you don't have that large contingency of your ideal customers on your profile to ask, for example, well then, why don't you go into pre-existing Facebook groups that other people are curating and find out answers from those people as well? Look out of the box. Because as visibility hackers, we always say, options, not excuses.
If you want to be a visibility hacker yourself, of course you've already subscribed to the channel, but I want to personally invite you over to our Facebook group. We have a wonderful community there, we go live on a regular basis, and because you're clearly interested in boosting your brand's visibility, you're focused on building your marketing plan for your small business, then I got something special just for you. So there's a link down in the description and I want you to check it out because it's our small business marketing marketing plan. It's a beautiful template that you can follow along with and build your brand's visibility as well. So really, it's that simple. It's a free PDF just for you guys. So click the link down in the description. I will see you over in the Visibility Hacking Facebook group. If you have any questions, uh, join us on our Friday Night Live and we'd be happy to answer them. Even if you're stuck on part of the marketing plan or you've checked out some of our other free downloads as well, like our customer avatar uh, template as well. All of those options, join us over in the Facebook group and you can find out more information at visibilityhacking.com. We'll see you over there. Until then, remember I love you, be excellent to each other, and just go live. Your people are waiting for you.